Hey guys, and welcome to the third part of the 11th episode, the animation episode. Now, in this one, we're just, it shouldn't be long, should just be about five minutes. I've figured out, um, some problems with the, um, coding and stuff like that, um, that made the network not work properly. So what you need to do first is go into your animations. We want this animation script still. So just make sure you've got everything there. It should be exactly the same. We created it before. We just disabled it. So we'll get back to enabling that in a second. So then we want to go to our network view one script. And in this script, um, I'm pretty sure we had before yet yeah, we did, we had the animation, um, get component. We want all this still. Um, but what we're going to do in this one is add in these um, send next and receive next. So we're going to use the network views stuff for the animations. So in this one, we're going to go stream dot send next, um, and in that we're going to send the uh, animation anim. So animator controller dot um, get float, and we're going to get the speed and the direction. So we're going to send both speed and direction to the client. Um, to other clients or everyone else on the server um, and then we're going to say if we're if this is not our client then if this is not us then we're going to receive the two floats so anim.set float speed to what we received receive next just the same as these two I'm not going over them again because we have done this sort of stuff before and the same with direction so if you need to just pause that and copy that down but that should be fine now next into the network manager what we wanted to do is I took this off a few times what we want to do is go copy and paste this mouse look script we have done it before that thing before that sort of stuff before so you should be fine just copy and paste that and change the mouse look to animations Make sure your camera is all the same and all this is fine. That should be fine. I think we fixed that up last episode. So what we're going to do is just go back into Unity. And then we're going to go to our character controller. So where's the prefabs? Prefabs, resources, player one. And now in this one, what you want ticked off is the mouse look, which I believe we had ticked off before. Um, the animations ticked off as well. And just make sure this is observing the network view script. So um, that was all we had ticked off here, that's all fine. Um, one more thing we need to have ticked off is this camera. This camera needs to be ticked off. Sold is fine because that's just graphics. Um, but that should be fine. And when that's all done for you guys, all you want to do is just go Control B to build it. And that will build right up. I think that's all I changed. Um, then we want to play it, uh, close this software down, um, then we're going to play this one, just submit, play, network, create room, public, create room, submit, play, network, and join, and then we're just going to spawn, we're going to go over into this corner over here, as you can see my animations are working, my arms are moving and things like that. So we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna Oh god, okay. Unity has crashed again. It keeps doing this because I'm running two clients on the same machine. Uh so I'm just going to be back in one second guys just to fix that up. Oh wait, okay, no, where it worked. It it got problems. I'll just replay that one. Okay guys, just connect again, that should be fine, and spawn, and then look, now that we um, are walking around, look, they're not walking, they're just doing their idle animation, it does look a bit weird, but they are free animations, so now in this one, see, I'm turning, it's showing me the direction, it's a bit slow, but it's it's pretty fine, it's smooth, now if I start walking, it's going to walk, and it's going to finish around, it's a, bit, it's a bit laggy, which is, I mean, it's it's a free networking software thing, and we're not using the slow, you can slow it, can slow it down if you really want to, but I think this is pretty much, pretty, pretty good for us, so, um, we're just going to go along with that. I think, look how, I mean, it's pretty decent, isn't it? So, um, one more thing we're going to do is we're going to add the run in, run animation in. So, 
we'll go to our player one, go to the player controller, open that up, and we're going to add another state. So create state, um, going to create a new blend tree because it's going to be a running one. Um, we're not going to create a left run and a right run because that's just, uh, we don't really need that at the moment. So we're going to call this one run and we're going to go inside that one like we did before parameter speed or is it direction? Yes it's direction because we are our parameters inside that one. So we're going to add, uh, it, this parameter is talking about the three different ones. So we're going to add three motion fields for forward, straight and left right. Change this one to negative one again and one um, so then this middle animation is going to be um, go to the animation folder again go to run and go to drag run in there and we're going to close that up run turn and we're going to add run left in there and run right down the bottom okay now that is right that's perfect as we had it before I think that's pretty much right yep go back and we're just going to create a uh, transition from walk to run and walk to run is going to be when the speed is greater than 0 0.5 I think I had in my original test so and then back when speed is um, less than 0 0.5 um, and then I would maybe put a special um, one in to say, hey, the speed also has to be above 0 0.1, but by the time that gets back to walk, it will still be above 0 0.1, and it should just figure itself out back to idle. So just save that one. I think that's all we need to do. I think that's right. So just click play. We'll try that. Submit, play, offline mode, spawn and yep look at that so we click we start to walk and then we instantly run like we're, we're fast fast pretty much instant so you can change that to say hey if we're pressing and holding down shift run and walk at the same time but for now that's fine for me I think I might change the variables but the head moves a bit forward so I might move the camera around but you guys play with that I'm not gonna um, record me changing that around because they're just personal preferences guys um, but thanks again this is only a small part just small fix-ups but um, that's animations done for now I think next we'll either go over the UI menus or maybe the zombies or the spawning, like we got to fix up the spawning so that when you spawn there's like maybe four different spawn spots or six different spawn um, spots because this is up to six players. Um, maybe create some maps, some terrains between the three spot, the three team. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Maybe up to six on one team, so just six six spawns on one spot, or maybe I don't know two teams or something like that, um, maybe against each other with zombies, I'm not sure what we're going to do, maybe different game modes, but we'll get to that next time. Um, thanks for watching again, and please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.